In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fully lined Christmas stocking. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Adebayo. On this channel, I inspire your love for sewing by bringing you tutorials on sewing crafts and DIY projects like this one. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. These are the materials we need for this project. Links to where you can download free stocking pattern will be in the description box. So I've cut all my pattern pieces, including the hanging loop which measures 2 inches by 8 inches. The next step in this project is to place the adhesive sides of the fusible fleece on the wrong sides of the two outer stocking pieces. And once I've done that, I'm going to fuse them together using my iron. Moving on to the hanging loop, I'm going to fold it in half and press wrong sides together. Then I'll open up the strip and fold the edges into the center. Fold it in half again along the center fold and press. The loop should now measure about half inch wide. So I'll take it to the sewing machine and top stitch about one eighth of an inch away from the sides along the two edges. I've switched my regular sewing foot to a walking foot. I love to use a walking foot whenever I'm working with multiple layers of fabrics. Now I'm stitching the upper edge of one pair of the two stocking pieces using a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other pair. I have my stocking pieces sewn together. The next step is to place the two pieces right sides facing. I'm going to match the seams at the upper edge on both sides. I'll use a pin to secure that. Also secure it on the other side with a pin. I'll also secure the entire perimeter of the stocking with pins just so that when I go to the sewing machine, the fabric will not be shifting. And once I'm done pinning, I'm going to take the stocking to the sewing machine and sew all round, leaving about 5 inches opening at the bottom of the lining. So starting at the bottom, I'm going to sew with a half inch seam allowance.
Now I'm approaching the end of the opening. So I'm going to remember to backstitch once I get to that point. Now I'm just trimming the seams using my pinking shears in order to reduce bulk. Once I'm done trimming the seams, I'm going to turn the stocking right sides out through the opening at the bottom of the lining. Now I'll go to the sewing machine and sew the opening close by top stitching very close to the edge. Our stocking is coming together nicely. The next step is to stuff the lining into the stocking and give it a good press. Our Christmas stocking is all ready. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below and share. Consider subscribing if you are yet to and also turn on the notification bell and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.